Welcome to our new weekly podcast, which we're going to um, have for you guys every week, just talking about um, the Uni of Manchester, some of our experiences. We'll have a different theme each week. Uh, so this week is going to be on exams. Uh, so I am Xavier, a member of the graduate team. I studied history at the Uni of Manchester uh, last year. I, was a master's course and then started working for the library peer network in October. Um, some of the themes that we're going to have be like work experience or social events around the Uni of Manchester, just uni life in general, that kind of thing. And we're joined by two members of the student team, Jacob and Simone, who are students at the Uni of Manchester and work for the student team. So do you guys just want to introduce yourselves and what you study, that kind of, that kind yeah. of thing? Um, so I'm Simone, like uh, he said. Uh, I'm a third year cognitive neuroscience and psychology student. I have been on the student team for about two years now. I started um, on in, my in the beginning of my second year and it's been a, a wild ride. And yeah, I'm happy to be here. Yeah, I'm uh, Jacob, and uh, I study physics. Uh, I also started um, in my second year uh, as a student team member, and I've been entering the job since then. Uh, <laughs> so, so yeah. What's it been like as a student team member? Is it like a crazy job to have, especially with with COVID and everything being online? I think it's a very, 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 very nice job. Uh, yeah. It developed my, it shaped my personality basically and like my hard skills and like I got to get so good at some things and like get to know so many people that are so nice and like it gave me so many contacts and uh, just, just really the break itself is is very flexible. It's, it's it, it betters my personality and I don't know what could I have wished for like more than that. Um, it was a very pleasant experience for the past the past half an year. So, yeah, same here for me. Um, I've learned so much that I wouldn't even think to try. For example, we yeah. use Canva a lot, and I didn't know it existed until I joined the yeah. team. And yeah. I'm very involved with social media here, whereas I'm not very involved with social media in my normal life. So I've really just learned so much about myself and how about how I how I work, how I interact with other people. And it's, I think it's really prepared me well for when I actually enter the real world. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, okay, so you guys study two subjects which will go completely over my head in terms of the, the brain power needed to study those subjects, physics and cognitive science, was it? Yeah, yeah, it was. Yeah, um, so I'm guessing you guys have exams coming up soon? Yeah, 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 January. It's a it's a very difficult time with yeah. students. <laughs> yeah. Um, so we're gonna have this podcast. The theme of this podcast is gonna be about exams, um, because I guess a lot of first year students come into the Union of Manchester are like, oh, I've got exams mm. coming up. Like, what am I gonna do? Like, how do I revise for these? That kind of thing. Um. What have your guys' experiences been like at the Uni of Manchester with exams in your first year specifically? Um, in my first year, it was mostly um, multiple choice exams, which was actually really nice because it was yeah. surprisingly easier than writing essays in second and third year, which I really appreciated. And it just allowed me to kind of get to know university a bit, get to know my own learning style a bit, because I didn't realize that I didn't really know how to study until I got here. I was like, I'm fine. This is OK. But then I got here and I'm like, oh, yeah. I really need to be working. And, you know, it just took a lot of trial and error to get there. But I'm glad that I did. And in first year, it was just such a wild experience. And I think exams were a big part of that and learning how to do university exams in a kind of lenient environment, if you say, if you can say that, was a much better experience than I think going head first. Mm. Yeah, for the physics, it's, it's, a, it's a bit different style. Um, uh, uh, so, so we have usually like four to six exams. And I think in first is around 
uh, five without the labs. There is assessments for the labs and there is some assessments for first years. Uh, like uh, there's a clip that we do. Uh, usually there is no really no no deadlines throughout the year in the in the later years. Okay. Uh, so really your your final mark is 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 the, is the final exam. Uh, maybe from the tutorials like few percent, but that really usually doesn't matter that much. Um, we have very thorough exams, so we just solve problems like that. That's that's the nature of the the, the exams. Uh, I think it's quite stressful, uh, mainly because there is so much content, uh, and like the lectures also do a very good job to prepare you. But there is just so much content that yeah. uh, there is also like uh, you should take some time off and stuff like that. So just relax a bit because sometimes these ideas and concepts that you learn there uh, need some thought and like maturity. And sometimes when you just keep things like flowing in your head, uh, you just suddenly understand them. And that's, uh, that's really what you're striving for. So in, so in exams, you can remember them. Uh, so really problem solving is a very crucial thing to have uh, on the exams. Yeah, yeah. Um, so have, have either of you like picked up any tips or like change the way that you prepare for exams in the last couple of years just based on how it went at the start and kind of how you've improved um yeah actually well um i learned the importance of reading because yeah. in, one of, in one of my exams i didn't read the textbook the day before i was like this is fine i just need the lecture content and i got there and all the content was from the reading and i surprisingly i, got, I did okay but i was just not it was very stressed in the exam. So I've learned the importance of reading the hard way. And, you know, now I just, I pay special attention to that because at the end of the day, the extra questions in the exam, the extra marks do come from the reading and just kind of tailoring my approach based on the subject and the kind of topic that I'm listening and what my expertise with what I'm studying basically just really helps now. Yeah, yeah. So, so regarding uh, learning for the exams. Um, there is a lot of change. There's a lot of change that was brought to me uh, while joining university. Even I can remember in high school it was with different uh, type of assessments. Uh, it was more like a uh, more like a more like a memorization of things. But at the university, yeah. it's more about like the problem solving and stuff. Yeah. Um, I would say really reading the questions and what. Uh, what, what we're really, really going in depth with the, in the wording of the question. So for example, prove and show are two different things, for example. And I usually first just get confused a lot uh, on, on the wording of the questions. I think this is the, the, the thing that should get a lot of attention. Uh, and really like just show, like just understand the question can like solve half your troubles. Because um, we usually, think we should do way more than the question is really asking mm -hmm. and like even the marking of the question shows like roughly what kind of amount of rig we should put in uh so that's one of the things that really changed that i really read questions for only and i actually ask myself what am i gonna do here what i'm what i'm what i what they are asking for me uh, and uh really like um just practicing problems um was always the best way not only I would say lectures are only like a small part of the whole learning process. So doing a lot of problems in physics is, is very crucial uh, for your problem solving development, I would say. So these were the main two things. Mm, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I guess for, for me as a history student, mm, I didn't have any exams last year, first of all, because my master's was just assignments, but going way back to when I was an undergrad student, I guess, for history exams, what worked for me? I guess what worked for me the best or like what I learned over the years was because with history exams, you kind of have kind of set questions that you need to revise all of the information about. Um, what I learned over the years was just to expand and to cover as many subjects as possible because you never know what is going to come up in the actual exam um yeah so kind of kind of just being ultra prepared and covering all the bases with what you're revising was kind of the key for me 
Mm-hmm. Um, okay, so now kind of just want to talk a little bit about your experiences at the Uni of Manchester. Um, so first of all, what is the, you mentioned one briefly, Simone, but what was the worst experience that you had um, for an exam at the Uni of Manchester? And kind of just explain what happened. Honestly, I think it was that exam that I did because it was uh, for a first year social, social psychology um, exam. And it was the lecturer all of the semester. He said, you only need a first if you, if you, you only need to do the reading if you want to first. So people were like, it's fine. You don't need to do it. <laughs> And then in the, and, and then the exam came and the questions were so specific. It, one of the questions was in this study, what behavior did they record? And, yeah. the, and, and the answers were like A, clapping, B, dancing, C, singing. And it's just so specific that you don't know the answer unless you read. Mm. And I got very lucky because I did the reading that morning on the way to the exam. Like I did very limited, but I still did like some of it and I got okay mark, but it was just, ooh, it was a very stressful experience. Yeah, yeah. So I can definitely relate to that. Cause like sometimes in history, the exam questions are based off the assignment question, the, the, the essay questions that we get during the year. So if you revise like a certain module, a certain, a certain topic, based on that essay, that essay question, and then you get to the exam, and then the question is about that topic, but a different question from a different perspective. Suddenly you're not prepared for that question. I've been in those exams where I'm like, okay, I know kind of what happened generally, but I don't know um, enough like specific knowledge to answer this question. Mm-hmm. That's very true. And especially in history, you must have a lot more essay-based stuff, isn't it? Because yeah. mine was all multiple choice at that point. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think all of the questions that I answered in exams were all like 20, 30 mark, 40 mark questions, which is long. (laughs) (laughs) I'm not jealous of that. What about you, Jacob? Yeah, for for physics, it's like, um, so I'm the kind of, I'm not very much of an assessment person. I I don't really have risk experience for me. Like every 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 exam is like a risk experience probably. <laughs> <laughs> so so I would I would rather appreciate like uh like a more assignments to be fair. Like yeah. I don't have problems doing assignments. Like but 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 like exams. Even though I I can I can do them. It's like it's like I I never like exams. I I never like to be assessed like like formally. Uh, but I mean it's like something that has to be done. Um, if if I have to if I, have, if I recall correctly, it was from my second year electromagnetism course where uh, the the questions were so hard that even even the people I thought they will have no problem were were going out of the hall like kind of like shocked. So <laughs> that was that was that's probably the worst experience so far. But but it was it had it had to do something with the problem solving because like usually people. I just like kind of spam the past exam papers and uh, yeah. they kind of rely on the fact that like in physics uh, in certain subjects there is only a certain amount of questions you can ask and uh, like although the questions are always different the nature and the principle of this the problem solving is, is like kind of the same so yeah. you can yeah you can you can you can do that uh not not like it's not like a common but it, there is question like that um and so some people there there is people that rely on that fact and if there is a professor who who says okay i'm just gonna turn this exam around then uh then yeah then then you'll get something like we got last year (laughs) so Mm. yeah yeah i think i definitely agree that i prefer assignments i feel like i always got you just get the time to like make sure that you're doing the right job as opposed to like under pressure Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. to react to questions that you didn't prepare for properly oh no I can't can't relate to that I I I I would say I like assignments but I prefer exams because really I I do (laughs) I do surprisingly well under pressure it's a a very weird thing about I'm just like I love the pressure I just kind of just get it out get it done and it just somehow always worked out for me but I, I do agree that assignments do give you more time 
but I think the kind of preparing element is really important to me because I like to plan ahead. I like to be ready. Yeah, yeah. And that's that's that way, uh, yeah. You're doing like past papers and stuff. I, I feel like I'm always ready for what's coming ahead, which is really important mm -hmm. to me. And in yeah. that way, assignments are not as directed toward me as, as I would like them to be. Yeah, I think, I guess, when it came to exams for me, I was always like a hope for the best. Kind of, <laughs> let's just hope I get all of the questions that are perfect for me and then I'll be fine. And then when it gets to the exam and the questions aren't there that I want, I'm like, oh, well, what am I supposed to do? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, no, no, no. I could never do that. I always need to know like exactly what I need to do. What's my weakness and my strength? I need to know everything. It's just a very mean thing to do. Yeah, yeah. Um, OK, so we're going to um, just finish up by pointing all of our students to some of the resources that we've done. Um, so in the academic uh, support channel, there is a link to the Medium page, which has exam tips um, from all of our student team members, just talking about what works for them um, with different themes. So talking about um, how to relax, how to structure your revision, that kind of thing. Um, we're gonna release this. Um, probably tomorrow on Wednesday. And also all of our student team members and graduate team members are all available to contact at all times. If you go to the welcome, the welcome channel um, and go to contact us, all of the, the details and subjects that people study will be available. And if you see someone that studies um, the same subject as you or a subject that is similar to yours, then feel more than free to message anyone um, asking for support. Um, so will you guys be available if someone from physics or a cognitive <laughs> science student messages you, will you guys be willing to, to help? Of course, yeah, yeah we've yeah. all been there, honestly. I'm yeah, yeah. Help. Yeah, I mean, I'm ready to help like anytime. If it is midnight, please email me. <laughs> like, <laughs> and I actually, actually, like even in my my uh, my uh, my passes, uh, so I'm also in the in the past. Like, I'm also past leader, and I, I don't have a problem anytime. Like if it's if it's like early morning and like very late, because I usually do both uh, early mornings and late late evenings. So uh, I I always find like five minutes to to like respond. Uh, if it's like a longer query, then obviously I like to think about it. But usually people ask like. Uh, more simple questions that I can answer at the moment. So, so yeah, I'm, I'm down to help to anybody who needs help with that, so. Yeah. But, help procrastinate, please. <laughs> <laughs> I think especially for, for first year students at the moment with COVID and not being able to like go in and speak to a lecturer or like speak to someone on, on their course directly, mm -hmm. like having someone that they know studies a subject similar to them, mm -hmm. would be like really helpful. Mm -hmm. Um, okay, so thank you, Simone and Jacob, for joining me on the first of hopefully many podcasts, um, just talking about life at the Uni of Manchester um, exams, that kind of thing. Thank you, guys. Yeah, thank you. Sir. Yeah. My pleasure.